Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today we'll detach a photo with the camera filter 12.3 So let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications Today I'll show you something uh, different types of things uh, which is uh, very important just because of when you open up image in camera filter and after adding some uh, like uh, lights and other stuff or settings you can open it up directly in your photoshop but in future if you need to add or like uh, edit any kind of settings you can't do that so this problem is solved in this 12.3 uh, camera i'm opening it up in uh, camera filter i'm just doing something uh, random changes like that okay fine and now i'll go to this button and go to open as object so what is the benefit of this button this button is very helpful to us and uh, the new learner or old learner whatever it is suppose uh, i just cropped this image uh, like a 16 is to 9 ratio like this okay fine and hit the take button and i want to make this one changes like uh, other steps so if i double press in a smart object it will open up brand new or like similarly it will open up as per the previous one so now if i edit something suppose i want to remove the spots or other stuffs you can do that and hit the ok button and it will change up in this cropped version that means you are getting the advantage of these smart object options and that button which is new in this camera 12.3 so uh, now we'll retouch the photo and i'll show you full process how to retouch like uh, easily and like effectively i'm double pressing over there in a smart object and now i'll make a little bit zoom out so like that and here some spot appears in a face i'll remove that spots uh, and after that we'll go to the next level so i'm going forward to removing this spot before that i want to show you here is a dedicated spot healing brush tool press b from the keyboard you will get the like a brushes or like that here the size of the brushes feather of the brushes and opacity i made the opacity 100 percent feather 35 percent is good and if you want to change the brush size just scroll the mouse wheel it will increase or decrease the brush size okay now i'll remove the spots or you can if you want to get the spot more prominently just select here visualize spot you can increase the uh, or decrease the lights and you can getting the spots easily you can um, reduce the white dots those are the spots showing over here it will help you out some people's just uh, okay with this version and some people's is okay for that which one is convenient to you i don't know you can use your own techniques so i'm going forward to remove the spot just i don't want to make the video or uh, like tutorial lengthy So after removing the major spots, I'll uh, just uh, add some here. Uh, here's some images. Okay, just making it zoom again like this. So some spot just I left from here. Okay, that's good. Actually, some spot you have to remove from uh, turning off the visualize spot, and after that, and now I'll have to change the light and other stuffs. Suppose here in a basic panel, I'll add some exposure and the vibrance a little bit and texture not too much, clear it down like that. So that's fine to me if you want to change the other colors go to here going to the color mixture and add some like luminance of the red you know luminance is for intensity saturation is for percentage of color and the hue is for which color you want to give that means if i change the red it will be like pink type or 
orange type so i'll make it a little bit pink type and the saturation a little bit up three or four is good and luminance up and for the face color i'll increase the luminance of the orange and yellow as well that's good and here i can give some brushes here is some brushes options if you just press once it will give you the anchor point and you can change the settings like uh, exposure texture clarity like down if you brush over there it will change according to these settings so you know that this one is amazing you can brush all the panels all the portion which one you want to make the retouch like that you can make it more zoom and you can give the brushes or you can brush over there so don't brush too much otherwise it will be too much wide or too much dark so i think this one is good and hit the ok button you don't have to think about uh, it is saving or not just because of its one uh, it's uh, like smart object you can double press over there and you can edit anytime anything you applied over there so after that press ctrl or command j and after that go to the filter image editing and portraiture 3 if you want to get the downloading of the portraiture or portraiture 3 please check out my video description for the download link or you can buy this one from their official website from here i'm using like normal type uh, smoothing and if i making it zoom you're getting the texture like that but i want to make texture in a uh, lips uh, not too much in a face so here is a drop menu or drop icons you can press anywhere it will take time and it will give you the output suppose in a face this portion or i want to smooth or give some actions like that so you are getting the before and after changes and hit the ok button so it's taking time to load up and providing you the output now i want to make this one more texture and make the highlight down and a little bit like a split toning so double press over there and you can use those things whatever you want you can use that so here split toning i will add some tone from here like this type of tone and that's good and after that i will go to the basic portion and texture a little bit up create a little bit down behave a little bit up vibrance a little bit up that's good and tone warm tone i'll make it a little bit too warm or cool tone is good and if i make it zoom that's good now i want to give the like uh, eyeball color or the white portion up so how to do that go to the brush portion and select once over there make the brush size smaller and increase the exposure and the highlight a little bit and brush over there so if you brush that portion the white portion will appear over there so in a teeth you can do that so before and just select this one and do brush over there so not too much a little bit and hit the ok button it's taking time to load it up and providing you the final output that's good it's taking time actually so after that i want to make the dodge burn in a face just because of i want to make it uh, 3d feel so how to do that press ctrl or command j ctrl or command j so i'm just making two copy another one is uh, highlight for and this one for shadow so in a previous episode i just given you another uh, techniques which is uh, the sh uh, dodge and burn and this one i'm showing you same thing for your convenient in a highlight portion i'll just make the blending mode into screen making it mask go to the image and apply images and hit ok
so after that right press and blending options from here finding out the shadow area of the face okay that's good and press the option or alter button divide the slider and make it like this and hit okay that's fine make it mask and go to the image and apply image and hit okay so now shadow making it uh, multiply right press blending options just find out the shadow area press the alter option button hold it divide the slider and mix up the shadow with the face properly ask it out image apply image and check the invert option and hit okay i'm making these two layer in a group and giving the name db and then making it mask image apply image and uncheck the invert option and hit ok so let's see before and after flat image just going to pop up the face color lights and everything so the before image was like that and after one you're getting like that so now i'll go to the adjustment and go to the like uh, gradient options too much uh, white portion appears making it like gradient and giving like as a you know, vignetting going to the angle making it zero degree actually radial making it zero degree reverse tether and like 340 is good and hit okay that's good and go to the adjustment go to the level portions and increase the levels that's fine that's good okay and now again go to the like adjustment layer and then go to the photo filter now i will add the filter so which type of filter if you want i don't know but i want to add like this or this this that's good that's fine and done and if you want to make this one highlight up just press over here double press in a smart object and go to the basic options make the highlight up or shadow up don't make it too up just because of it will affect in this window too much so before and after is done and if you need you can change the like uh, this portion actually i want to make this one in the eyes and hit okay when you are giving the effect before it's just applying in the jpeg format but in this camera row in 12.3 you can make it a smart object and you can give the effects and you can do color correction and everything in the raw effects or raw images so this one was the demand of uh, all kinds of photographers and other uh, like uh, creative peoples this 12.3 is filled up the demand of us so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial thanks to adobe camera filter hope that you would like this video and share with your friend if you have any kind of question go ahead please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmr signing out today bye bye